returned once again, and uh, I don't really know how to transition from the greeting to what we're doing today. We're painting tiles today. Like the tiles that you'd stick on a countertop or like a backsplash. Or if you're weird like me, you paint on them. That's what we do here. We paint on things that aren't supposed to be painted on. I'm like my grandma. I will paint whatever gets in my way. And currently, these tiles are in my way. So we must paint them. Hi. First things first, I'm going to take this nasty piece of tape holding the tiles together. Oh, that's not gross. Uh, oh. Well, uh, that's not coming off. So I guess we're not using that one. So we're left with five tiles, but there's no way I will have time to do all five of these, so I'm just going to do three. First things first, I'm bringing out my metal palette that I love so much, and my pencil to start sketching. But I realized I was stupid, and that won't work. So I brought out a wet erase expo marker and started sketching in the design for this tile. Then I realized I was stupid once again, and that paint is wet. So just getting rid of that. The tile is kind of an off-white color, so I decided to sketch out my idea with white paint, and it worked out alright. You just can't see what I'm doing unless the light comes across it, so let's skip that. And now the fun part! Painting. I'm mixed up some light yellow for the stems of the mushrooms. Oh, I forgot to mention that I'm theming all of these tiles mushroom-themed. For this one, I wanted to make it more scenery esque, I suppose, like a forest, a plain, zoomed in version of the grass. I, I, I don't, I don't know. This was rather enjoyable to paint. Recently, I've been enjoying painting more smaller things. The tiles aren't as small as my mini skateboards, but still small enough where I had to bring out my very small detail paint brushes. I also decided to do the stereotypical red mushrooms with the white dots because, well, um, they're cute. To add a little more color into this, I added purple flowers in the background and added some clouds in the sky. The stems needed a bit of shading, so I mixed in some black with the yellow and I also added it to the red to add a little shading to the top of the mushrooms. The mushrooms just seemed a little too flat, so I added some dimension to it. Adding some final highlights. And pulling out a sharpie to add a little outline to the mushrooms because it seemed a little too mushy. I did it more like a sketch instead of solid lines because solid lines just didn't fit the style. Sign it. And here it is. I was done with this one, but I realized I didn't like it. So I mixed up some new paint and spent the next 30 minutes fixing this tile until I liked it. Once I was satisfied, I moved on. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
And here are the completed mushroom tiles. I am so happy with the way all of these turned out. They're super cute and I'm obsessed with the way the mushrooms look. I also forgot to mention that I did protect the paint by spraying a clear gloss coat over all of them. Oh, that blue looks nice. I sound like a 12 year old boy. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video because I sure enjoyed making it and I do hope that you have a fantabulous rest of your day. Bye!